December 15th, 2020. The website eatthis.com publishes an article called the 100 unhealthiest foods on the planet. Many months later, the world's healthiest man sees the article and decides to challenge himself by picking 30 different foods on that list with a bold calorie goal of 30,000 plus calories. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today's challenge is going to be absolutely brutal because today I'm going to be eating the 30 unhealthiest foods in the entire world. I've got some other surprises sprinkled in, but first you guys know the drill. We gotta get some fitness in before all these calories. Let's get this run done, and then it'll be time for meal number one. Let's move. All right, everybody, well, the run is all done. Now, it's time to get our pre-challenge weight, along with our pre-challenge physique check. Here goes nothing. Now it's weighing time, and then it's time to eat. We got quite the spread for breakfast, folks. We got toaster strudel, donuts, blueberry muffins, the best muffins, an epic, epic plate of waffles, bacon, sausage, maple syrup, some fruit juice, of course. Like I mentioned earlier, for today's challenge, I'm going to be attempting to eat the 30 unhealthiest foods on planet Earth. Of course, I picked the highest calorie, most practical foods to eat for today's challenge and for breakfast, everybody. I feel like I nailed it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. Before each meal, I'm gonna have a total list of what we're consuming, either right over there or right over there, so you guys know exactly what's in each meal. I think I got everything. One, two, forgot something very important. You guys are probably not gonna be surprised at what we're bringing to the party because it's something I love. Good old sugar. I'm gonna have to find a use for that because I already have a lot of sugar on this table. A lot. And I also have to eat a minimum of 30,000 calories. 30,000 calories. Challenge accepted. And this might be a really brutal day because I haven't crossed the 30,000 calorie mark in a while, so who knows what's gonna happen today. I'm sure a lot of you out there are curious what all this is gonna do to my body, so that's why I'm gonna be showing you guys the aftermath to all of this. So if you guys stick around until the end of the video, you'll see all that. That being said, I'm hungry and I'm ready to get this started. It is currently 11.47, Friday, March 12th, and we're ready to get this going. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories right over there for you guys and total macros, protein, carbs, fat, those will be right over there as well. Without further ado, my friends, my family, this is meal number one. Let's do this. Before you get started, you guys know the drill. Give the video a like if you haven't booed today. I actually didn't, and I'm pretty worried. I gotta eat 30,000 calories today. You know what? I think we're gonna start with our delicious plate of waffles, bacon, and sausage first. <sighs> I can run 21 miles? I can't even freaking open a maple syrup. You're not gonna be able to open it. Oh, dang. Told you. Good thing we have backups. Boom. I don't care what anybody says. I will always be team syrup. <laughs> team syrup, team waffle. I mean, let's just be honest, folks. Syrup reservoirs, that is more deliciousness for your mouth. Ooh. Ooh. All right, well, all of our waffles are down. So far, it's going amazing. Breakfast is the best meal of the day, okay? Let's just, let's just be honest here, everybody. you guys right now. And that is a dangerous combo. Woo! I 
donuts, bacon, waffles are down. Woo! That's quite the caffeine and sugar rush so far. Now, did you did you really think I was just gonna eat unfrosted toasted sugar? I mean, come on, people. I'll wait for all the comments to tell me that this toaster strudel icing looks like. Actually, I just won't go there. Favorite toaster strudel? Comment down below. Personally, for me, OG strawberry is the best. Toaster strudel is down. Woo! Breakfast is, it's going amazing so far. Now, I think we gotta get on over to our Reese's Puffs. Curious to get into these. Who is Lil Yachty? I wonder what my R&B hip hop name would be. Lil Electric. It's got a nice ring to it. I'll pick that up later. It's time to dig in. Actually, you know what, before we do, I did get that sugar out. And sugar is on the list of the unhealthiest things to eat on earth. So let's make a little addition here. If you're new around here, Dangerous is my middle name. Damn! Just another breakfast with Eric. We just need a little bit more. Just a little bit. It's cool, guys. It's cool. We got fat-free milk. Our cereal's all down. Whew! Uh, caffeine and sugars. It's starting to get to me. Uh, now we're gonna... Get to our uh, last time for breakfast. Some delicious blueberry waffles. Delicious blueberry waffles. Delicious blueberry waffles. <laughs> Good thing we're getting some fruit in today. Just starting to get worried. <laughs> Goodness gracious, everybody. Sugar and caffeine overload. <laughs> Anyways, folks, meal one is, is complete. It is currently 1223, still the same day. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories consumed right over there for you guys. The total macros will be right over there as well. Now, it's time to pound some pavement. I really shouldn't have eaten all those frosted mini wheats last night. Probably shouldn't eat this before I try and eat 30,000 calories tomorrow. All that broccoli probably didn't help either. Health is wealth. The ride is complete. Now it's time for meal number two. All right, everybody, so we are here. It's time for meal number two. I'm feeling much better after the bike ride. It is currently right now about 3.55. We got a lot of deliciousness on the table right here, everybody. Mozzarella sticks. Hot Pockets, I went with the best flavor, pepperoni. And believe it or not, protein bars were actually on the list of unhealthiest foods in the world to eat. So I decided to get some protein bars. Granola bars are also on the list as well. I got an entire tub of frosting. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to use that. Candy is also on the list of extremely unhealthy things to eat. So I got extra long Twizzlers. Have you guys, have you seen these before? Like, look at how big these things are. Like, goodness gracious. Absolutely crazy. Energy drinks also up there as well. And I did see that refried beans were on the list of the unhealthiest things out there to eat. And I figured, you know what? Why not include them in meal number two? Because we do need to get our fiber in today. Go ahead and put the total calories for this meal right over there. And also the total macros, protein, carbs, fat, those will be right over there as well. Without further ado, everyone, it's time for meal number two. Second opportunity, folks. Low fat snack. We're gonna start with our hot pockets first. I was rude. Hot pockets. 
Gaskets are down. Now we gotta get into our refried beans. These refried beans were a terrible, terrible, terrible decision. I think we gotta attack some of these frozen entrees right here. I just wanna say this article, it really just does not like frozen entrees. So naturally, I had to get three of them. Cheese down. I gotta say, pretty much everything I've eaten in this challenge I've thoroughly enjoyed, which is great. Well, I have three forks. I just gotta say right now, protein bars and frosting, that is the way protein bars should be eaten, okay? Just gonna, I'm just gonna put that out there. I need to do something with these cookies. Cause I don't wanna eat them just like that. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's see what we can do here. Step one is just to take your frosting just like so. Step two, layer in just another, another cookie, just like that. Just like that. We're going crazy. We're going crazy tonight, everybody. Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. That is a work of art right there. Sweetness right there. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, definitely regret eating those beans. Oh my goodness. Why am I such an idiot sometimes? You suck. If only I would have been able to poop this morning. Anyways, let's get to these mozzarella sticks. I, got, I always get you guys. I'm not gonna put frosting on a jalapeno popper. Come on, people. Goodness, I'm crazy, but not that crazy. Sunday pop tarts right here. I don't think I've ever actually eaten these pop tarts before, so I'm genuinely curious to see how they're gonna taste. I do know one thing though, and that is that the pop tarts are going to taste way better with some frosting on them. In them. Whatever. Completely unnecessary, but worth it. You know, I just want to give a big shout out to frosting because uh, it's pretty much the glue that holds my life together right now. And pretty much always. Well. Hey, this is gluten free. Hmm. Ooh. Well, it is about 441 right now. Um, I'm not gonna lie, guys, that a lot larger than I thought it would be. That's what she said. All of our icing's down. I think I'm gonna save these Twizzlers for later. I gotta figure something out because 
my stomach is, is feels like it's in another dimension right now. All right, everybody. Well, after about 15 minutes on the bike, it's safe to say I feel like a uh, human water balloon right now. I've been using this Wahoo kicker for a while and it's been awesome. It's a bike trainer that allows me to train indoors and it comes in handy for situations like this. If you guys want to know more about my training, my diet, my life outside of food challenges, I do have a third channel called Electric Talks. I'll go ahead and link it for you guys right up there or right over to the side, wherever it is. It's also down below in the description if you guys want to go check it out. Now everybody, it's time to go grab some more food. I think I'm crashing right now because of the massive amount of caffeine and, and sugar I put into my body today. I just, I feel like everything just is numb. It just doesn't exist anymore. Just like my sanity at this point. Don't get me wrong, these these challenges, they, they're they they're super fun and everything, but once you get past that 20,000 calorie mark, it just, it just all, we'll just say it gets pretty knucking futz. Anyways, we're in line at McDonald's right now. And, um, all I really want to do right now is just drink water, like a lot of water. Crazy if water was on that list of unhealthy things to consume. Are you kidding me? Bottled water? Really? Can't even believe it. Watch, they'll probably say like, chewing gum is unhealthy. Like, goodness gracious. I'm just, I'm, I'm done with that for now. Well, if you guys have made it up into this point of the video, just know that I love you very much. And if you guys want to see more crazy food challenges like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's right down below, it's right there. How's it going? Can I get 20 Chicken McNuggets, please? And can I get a large Diet Coke? Okay. And that's gonna be it. Thanks so much, have a good day. Hi there, I'm gonna get one of your eight piece meals, please. Alrighty folks, so we have meal number three right here in front of us. A DiGiorno stuffed crust pizza right there, a McDonald's nuggets, these extra long Twizzlers over here, a slice of cheesecake. And the article said that something really unhealthy was the frozen pies that you find in your local supermarket. So I went out and bought some slices. I'm not gonna lie to you guys right now, I, I feel like I just got run over by a truck. So I think we should just get straight into this. It is. Currently 7.32. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories for this meal right over there for you guys and total macros will be right over there as well. Without further ado folks, this is meal number three. Actually, I'm, I'm actually pretty curious about this pizza. Let's use our bicycle cutter to cut it. This is how I cut my carbs. And all right, everybody, it's time to get started with our pizza. Here we go. Well, half our pizza's down. Pizza's all down. Okay, I gotta get on with these chicken nuggets mix. They were specified on the list as being a very unhealthy food to eat, so you know, I figured, you know, let's go get, let's get 20 of them, okay? Now, everybody, there are two types of people in this world. There are people that dip their McNuggets in sweet and sour sauce, and then there are people that dip their nuggets in ranch. I'm both. Which one are you? Very make good right now. Ooh. Ooh, I think we just gotta get. 
Okay, we gotta get to the elephant in the room here. KFC. Cheese Doritoed fried chicken pieces over here. How do I even how do I even eat this? Just go full savage mode, Eric. That is uh, that is cheese central right there. Goodness. Oh, oh that's not good, Eric. Why do I always save the hardest things for last? Next stop. Hopefully my glutes. Alright everybody, well, our uh, massive plate of cheesy Dorito fried chicken is down. So I guess it's time to get on over to our Twizzlers next. I think it's really cool that they made super extra long Twizzlers. Check that out, 2021 right there, folks. Those are some long, long Twizzlers right there, folks. It's almost as long as... The bike ride I did today. Let's get into our Twizzlers. It tastes like Twizzlers. I'd say we put a sizable dent in these quizzes. My jaw is uh, almost as sore as my stomach right now. I'm not saying something. Get some peanut butter right now. Let's try to get some, some calories. Reduced fat peanut butter. <laughs> Let me just tell you guys right now that adding peanut butter to delicious desserts like this Cheesecake Factory Cheesecake slice right here. It's a great way to give your taste buds a little, oh my God. Cheesecake's down. Goodness gracious. Oh. I will say that I may have misestimated the amount of calories in those Twizzlers. So I might have lucked out. Which one would I do first? This one looks good. Turtle cream pie. Which reminds me, you guys, you guys gotta stick around. If you guys wanna see the aftermath. You guys are still at the flow of the video. Uh, I just want you guys to comment down below. Jif. Cause we just, uh, just ate some Jif peanut butter. Ooh, that has been another crazy boot challenge. Now everyone, it's time for me to show you guys the post calorie challenge aftermath. All right, everybody, so it's a few days later and I'm sure you guys are curious to know what happened with my post food challenge weight and my post challenge physique. And don't worry, we're gonna get to that. But before I do, I do have an important message that I wanted to share with you all. I do get a lot of questions from a lot of you out there that want to know what the days after these food challenges look like. I didn't do any crazy bike rides or runs after this food challenge was over. I pretty much the only thing I did after this crazy day was go for a walk and that that was it. I'm literally so full after these days that I don't really feel like doing anything. 
Uh, so yeah, no bike rides or runs. Now the night of this food challenge, I pretty much looked like I was 20 months pregnant, if that was even possible. But like I've told you all so many times, as long as I stick to my training and I stick to my normal diet outside of these food challenges, my weight does spike, but it does eventually return back to baseline. This video was based on an article titled, The 100 Unhealthiest Foods on the Planet. Literally, right underneath the title you see the words, foods that can be hazardous to your health. According to the article, its mission is to help you understand what's in your food and help you identify the toxic foods that are out there. Before I say what I say, I just wanna let you all know that that's, that's a great mission. But what the article failed to mention is something extremely important. Balance. I mean, everyone, can you imagine going through life worrying about bleached chemicals in your bread? Titanium dioxide, artificial coloring? I mean, I feel like there's a billion different chemicals and just stuff to worry about now. After reading that article, I was literally about to go insane. And I know, I know when people hear me say balance, they go, But wait, Eric, who are you to talk about balance? You do food challenges every single week. Yes, that, that is true. But there's a flip side to that. Obviously, the reason I've been able to do this for as long as I've been doing this is because I keep a well-regimented diet outside of what I do, and I don't do this every single day. Now, here is my main issue with all this. Instead of actually informing people that you can actually eat these foods and still incorporate them into a well-balanced, healthy diet, it pretty much demonizes those foods and the ingredients that are in them and tells people to restrict them and cut them out entirely. Now, don't get me wrong, the last thing I'm telling you all to do is to go out and eat 30,000 plus calories of the unhealthiest foods that are in your local grocery store. But what I am telling you is to take everything you all see, read, whatever it is, with a grain of salt. Make sure you live an active lifestyle and you can enjoy these foods in moderate amounts as long as you're eating a well-rounded diet. Now enough about all that. I'm sure you guys are wondering something very important, what my post-challenge weight was. If you guys enjoyed the video, it would mean the world to me. If you gave the video a like, I'm gonna go ahead and put another insane food challenge right over there. Also gonna put another playlist that I think you guys are gonna enjoy right over there as well. Once again, thanks for watching the video, everybody, and I'll see you guys next week's food challenge.